If you think the personal information on your phone is safe because it's locked with a passcode, it's not. Bad guys can look over your shoulder, memorize your passcode, and then snatch your phone. Stephen Fabian with more. These days, we're addicted to our phones. Most of us keep our entire lives stored on them, and savvy thieves know it. Cell phone theft is skyrocketing, and experts say if you have an Apple phone, you could be in big trouble if yours gets swiped. From family pictures and videos to financial information, these days our lives live digitally on our phones. So can you imagine anything worse than having it stolen? My phone was stolen. I let my guard down. My phone got stolen. You know, the next thing I knew, it was it was gone. All three down, of these longtime down. Apple customers say their lives were turned upside down after their iPhones got swiped while out on the town. <sighs> Where do I even begin? Manhattan economist Rehan Ayas says she was standing outside a New York City bar when a thief snatched her iPhone. It was probably the worst 72 hours of my life. Inside Edition senior investigative producer Charlie McElravey says his was stolen in New Orleans. These thieves are savvy, they're smart, and they're quick. This is happening to hundreds of people, if not thousands, just in New York. Wall Street Journal tech columnist Joanna Stern has been researching this rising crime. What these thieves are doing is they're targeting people at bars, many who have had a few drinks, who have been out late at night, and they don't really know how these thieves are getting into their phones. Like every iPhone, mine has a passcode. So how are all those cell phone bandits able to obtain your private passcode? Well, in many cases, they work in teams. One looks over your shoulder as you type in your code, then another robs you when you leave the bar. Greg Frasca says that happened to him while at a bar in Chicago. I was talking to some friends or some people and, um, you know, the next thing I knew, it was it was gone. So you think they literally just watched you type in your code and then they stole your phone? This is a um, you know pretty professional scam. Ultimately, if a thief knows your passcode, it's basically game over. I know the passcode. Once a thief is in your phone, the first thing they do is change your passcode to lock you out. And that passcode unlocks everything. Boom. And then they go for your money. In a matter of just an hour, they drain my bank account. $10,000 gone, they sent the money through Apple Pay, and I, I was just speechless. About $10,000 directly from my bank account. While losing that money stings, they all say the real nightmare began when they realized they were locked out of their Apple accounts, meaning no access to all their photos. All my photos are lost, everything on my iCloud, and I had so much, like, I've been using iCloud since I was 15. 10 years of photos and videos just gone, Poof, I'm locked out, and Apple says there's nothing they can do about it, and I'm just out of luck. That really is the collateral damage of the crime. The thieves don't care about your photos. They don't care about the account. Once they've drained the money, they move on to different victims. Although all their photos still live in Apple's iCloud for privacy reasons, they say Apple won't restore their access. Apple will not let these people back into their accounts, no matter what. What do I have to do? I've begged, I've pleaded. I would grab my passport, grab my driver's license, and I would run to the nearest Apple store to claim my photos back. In the cloud, her precious memories of 15 years exist, unattainable to her forever, but accessible only to the thieves who stole her phone. Apple says for privacy and security reasons, they do not collect driver's license or passport information when you open an account. So those can't be used to verify your identity. What I hope is, is that Apple can make some changes. Joanna says Apple, the world's most valuable company, should be doing more to help its customers. There needs to be some other way for you to prove to Apple that you are who you say you are. Give me my photos back. The two people we spoke with did end up getting their money back. Apple says they sympathize with customers who've had this experience, say they take the incident seriously and are always trying to find new ways to protect against threats.